So Frederick, what are we doing? What's your position here, Frederick? Actually? So I'm the senior manager, Gulf product management for Titleist. Excellent. And we're talking spin rate today. Is that what we're doing? Spin, yes. Okay. And we're going to be using a driver. Driver. And I'm going to hit some shots with my gaming ball, then another ball that you've got. That's exactly right. At some point in this video, I might ask the audience a question, get them to comment halfway through. And then we'll continue the video and then reveal the results maybe at the end. Could be a fun little game. Good Love it. Let's do it. So you want me to start by hitting my ball? Let's hit your stock drive with your ball. How many shots? Just one. Right, so I'm just going to hit one with my... Are we aimed up anywhere with the trap man? Right side of the green. So towards the right-hand bunker? Yep. So I'll go up with that. So this is with my Pro V1X. Oh, that's a, it's like, it, look at it. It's an arrow, isn't it? It's you take, that is so straight. That is like right in the middle of that bunker. Come on, that is good. Okay, so I'm smash factor one point. Can someone point for me because it focuses But There we go, yeah, 1.5. Oh. So beautiful numbers. Be oh, perfection. Did you, did you say that again. Beautiful numbers. <laughs> 151 ball speed, 2700 spin, rolled out to 273. 273 with roll, cool. And that's on normalized because we're right into a headwind there. Correct, yeah. Excellent. So what do you want me to do now? Let's have you hit our two-piece distance ball. We'll see if the numbers are any different. Okay. So this is a two-piece distance ball. Before you carry on watching, in that comment section down below, what do you reckon is going to happen? It's going to go further, we're going to spin more, spin less. Don't cheat. We're not trying to trick you. Just put what you think is in your head down in that comment section. I want to hear what you think. So all be, I'm going to try and do basically an equal shot, you know, same speeds as such. Same target. So that is a slightly low heel, so the spin rate should jump. That will be interesting. That wasn't an equal strike, but it was still very gameable. We might hit another one, but let's see what that got on. Let's, so speed's very similar. If you do the pointing for me there, Frederick, there, yeah. The speed actually was up a little bit on your swing, but your ball speed went down. That strike. Spin actually went up a little bit. Yeah. And that hurt your your both your carry and your total lower smash. But I'm I'm gonna argue that two six five on that strike is exactly what I would expect to see. Okay. So you didn't pick anything up with a low spin two piece distance ball well, versus that. It's formed the same exactly. apart from my vary. Exactly. I mean, I could hit more, but everyone who knows my numbers, I mean that's very close. The only thing that's different really there is my strike. Right, so if you're not getting anything off the tee, what are you giving up on a shorter shot? Well, should we have a look? Let's have a look. So I'm gonna try and hit an 80 yard shot. I've got a 50 degree wedge. That's like a small one for me. I, this isn't a shot I would always play, but I certainly would play it into this wind, even though it's normalized. And I'm gonna use my Pro V1X to start. Just the carry on that. It carried 92. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not that good with wedges. <laughs> so if you do the pointing for me there again, so we're going 65 mile hour clubhead speed. So obviously I'm controlling that to nice try and get high distance. Spin rate, 87. So 8,700. 92, you hit a little hard. 92 carry, so I went over the green or on the back. Launch. 23 launch. Should we try the two piece? Let's see what happens. Again, comments down below. What do they think? I wonder. What do you think is going to happen to this ball? Is it going to be similar distance? Go further, spin more, spin less, be harder, go higher. Go on, down there. Not what you think you want me to say, or you want, I want you to say. What's in your mind? Like, what do you honestly think? So I caught that a little clean. I feel like that would be a similar distance on a course. About four miles an hour harder. So a little harder, so We're 70 gonna, miles an hour. But you gave up almost 1500 RPMs. In theory, I should be adding revs if I'm gaining speed, because that's an ingredient Correct. Of, spin, of spin is speed, and I've increased speed. Correct. So I should increase spin, shouldn't I? Correct, but you've gone down, and if we were on an even shorter shot, you'd lose it almost exponentially. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've gone down, I was, what was I before? You were 87.7 before. Cool, so now I'm 7... 7300. 
Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, that's not... I reckon, I'm guessing the comments. What do you reckon the comments are guessing? Driver, I'm guessing. Longer, yeah. straighter, yeah. which we didn't see. Yeah. We saw actually shorter. Yeah. And with the wedge, probably lower spin, which we I saw. I reckon they would guess this the yeah. right way around more with a wedge. Right. So they're buying heavily on drivers. Right. Performance. It's interesting you said straighter there, and I would agree with that. People still think if you've got a higher spinning ball, even though Pro V1X with the driver isn't higher spinning, but let's just pretend even if it was, they're still equating that to left and right misses because they see a slice shot as a spinning to exactly. the right shot, but it's not the same spin that we're talking about here. That's Alex. exactly you can right. You only spin around one axis and it's... That's exactly right. So we're talking back spin. Any spin difference you see off the tee is not going to equate to left and right. anything further off line left and right, yeah. ball to ball really. Yeah. With a shot, with a wedge shot though, any spin you lose directly equates to your ability to stop the ball and yeah. control it. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's a bit of stopping distance, but I still think that's overplayed with amateurs because they just have this vision of tall player ripping it back. Right. For me, if I've got variables in spin, I'm anxious about hitting the distance. Anyone who watches my course vlogs, you hear us as soon as we get in semi rough, 80 yard, 90 yard shot, semi rough. First thing I'm saying is, I can't stop this because I know spin is being ripped away from me because the course is just taking it away which is why my equipment I'm just maxing spin as much as I can in the irons and as much as I can in my ball I can't name I can think I can name one instance where it might give it back fairway bunkers again just because I'm going to try and pluck it clean and maybe a bit of grit gets caught between right. there if you, you can pick more. it perfectly it might yeah. it might generate a little more spin interesting so I yeah people are buying under the wrong premise and then have got the wrong idea they've got it reversed a little bit in the ideas of what it does That's and exactly they're buying right. it the wrong way around aren't they well and you're also talking about in a shorter shot something that has to be much more precise where a drive is really about Max is it out. straight yeah. and as long as it goes is what you want yeah. this you're looking to hit a number right yeah. which is about spin and launch that's how you get control so it's interesting guys post comments down below let me know what you think did this come out the way you thought or not i mean for me i've done this test loss and i've tried to kind of tell this message and it's people it's a hard one to get across i think the biggest thing for me there is stop trying to think left and right when it comes to spin that's such a confusing uh, message that people get lost lost in and I think you've heard me say it a lot, and lots of people have said it. When it comes to your ball working more from that green backwards, it's such a more positive way than thinking that you're just whacking drivers, I'm going to use a distance ball because I want to hit a distance. That's easily marketed at you, but the facts of it aren't actually true. So it's about you being better consumers, I think. Post comments down below, let me know what you think.